So on behalf of the board and the staff of the Chinese American Planning Council, um, I want to thank everyone for being here, but more importantly, thank Pauline for everything that she's done. So uh, we're asked to share a story, and when I first met Betty and learned more about the polling principles, um, it's really cool that it's all based on her, the initials of her name. Um, and there's one, I actually thought the N would not be network. I thought the N would be something else, because when I first met Pauline about 12, 13 years ago, the first thing she said to me was, no money, no honey. <laughs> So the principle that stands out for me about polling is the L, lead, and being the change you want to see in the world and taking action. And that's who she is. Um, when I used to run the Coalition for Asian American Children and Families, and that's the first time I met polling, she was at the microphone, she's testifying at public hearings, she's speaking at City Hall, she's in meetings with other service providers, community leaders, advocates and always pointing out not only the needs of seniors, but the needs of the Asian American community, the needs of uh, social services nonprofits, as well as the specific needs of CPC to continue doing the great services that we do. And um, when I went to another organization, FPWA, once again, polling was there, um, emphasizing the needs in the community. And now at CPC, uh, I have the benefit and honor to be humbled every day by polling, where we all learn a lot from her, we see the leadership that she exerts, and we see the impact that she's made on thousands of individuals and families across generations. So um, once again, on behalf of the board and staff of CPC, on behalf of myself and my own development, I want to thank you for everything that you've done. Happy birthday.